Picture this, the soft glow of a vintage television screen casting a warm, flickering light across a cozy living room. It's a moment suspended in time, a flashback to yesteryears when black and white classics graced the silver screen. In that very scene, Deborah Kerr emerges like a timeless enchantress, with her grace and poise that could rival the most radiant stars. Her presence on the screen has the power to transport us back to those cherished days when cinema was more than just entertainment. It was an art form that etched unforgettable memories in the hearts of viewers. Do you recall that precise instant when you first encountered Deborah Kerr's cinematic magic? Perhaps it was her ethereal beauty in an affair to remember or her strong-willed character in From Here to Eternity. Maybe it was her magnetic chemistry with Yul Brynner and the King and I that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Whatever the memory, it's a testament to the lasting impression she made on generations of movie enthusiasts. Now, let's delve into some captivating, lesser-known facts about Deborah Kerr that will deepen your appreciation for this remarkable actress. It's time to unveil the layers of talent and charisma that defined her career and made her a true icon of the silver screen. Deborah Kerr, the graceful luminary of the silver screen and the dazzling constellation of Hollywood stars, there shines one name that radiates timeless elegance and remarkable versatility, Deborah Kerr. Her enchanting presence on the silver screen spanned over five decades, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. While her luminous performances in classics like The King and I and From Here to Eternity are well known, there are many lesser known facets of her life and career that deserve the spotlight. Born Deborah Jane Kerr Trimmer on September 30, 1921, in Helensburg, Scotland, she initially pursued a career in ballet, a passion that deeply influenced her graceful movements as an actress. This early training endowed her with a remarkable poise that set her apart in an industry filled with talent. Deborah Kerr's journey to stardom was not an overnight sensation. She diligently honed her craft on the British stage and in British films before catching the eye of Hollywood. What's fascinating is that she turned down a seven-year contract with MGM early in her career, choosing instead to work independently. This bold move allowed her to maintain artistic freedom in select roles that truly resonated with her. Kerr's filmography boasts an astonishing range of characters. She effortlessly transitioned from prim and proper English ladies to passionate and conflicted heroines. Her on-screen chemistry with leading men like Cary Grant and Burt Lancaster was palpable, adding depth to her portrayals. In 1953, Deborah Kerr starred in From Here to Eternity, a role that earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her portrayal of Karen Holmes, the neglected wife of an officer, showcased her ability to navigate complex emotions and earned her a place in cinematic history. It's interesting to note that her iconic beach scene with Burt Lancaster was considered quite scandalous at the time, but has since become an emblem of sensuality and longing in film history. Throughout her career, Kerr earned a staggering six Academy Award nominations, a testament to her enduring talent. Yet, she never won an Oscar, a surprising fact given her remarkable contributions to cinema. Nevertheless, she received an Honorary Academy Award in 1994 for her lifetime of achievements, a fitting tribute to a cinematic legend. Beyond the silver screen, Deborah Kerr was known for her humility and dedication to her craft. She shied away from the Hollywood glamour and maintained a private personal life, a rarity in the industry. Her love for her family and her charitable work showcased a different side of this remarkable woman. In 2007, Deborah Kerr passed away at the age of 86, leaving behind a legacy of grace, talent, and unparalleled contributions to the world of cinema. Her films continue to captivate audiences and inspire actors to this day, a testament to her enduring appeal and timeless talent. In conclusion, Deborah Kerr's life and career are a testament to the enduring power of talent, grace, and authenticity in the world of entertainment. Her ability to convey profound emotions with subtlety and grace set her apart as a true luminary of the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. And with that, this tribute to Deborah Kerr is... Deborah Kerr, the renowned actress, faced unique challenges in her career, as she once revealed. Among the films that posed special challenges for her were From Here to Eternity, 
Edward, my son, and the Innocents. In addition to her acting career, Kerr had a personal tragedy to contend with. In August 2004, her brother Ted Trimmer was tragically killed in a road rage incident at the age of 78. Interestingly, Deborah Kerr's signature in cement for Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood wasn't actually cast at the theater itself. It was done on the set of The King and I. Deborah Kerr's life and career were marked by both professional challenges and personal tragedies, but she remains a celebrated figure in the world of cinema. Deborah Kerr's career in film is notable for many reasons. One of the interesting aspects of her work is her role in The King and I. Although Kerr played the lead character, her singing voice was dubbed by Marnie Nixon. Nixon's vocals were used for the musical numbers in the film, blending seamlessly with Kerr's on-screen performance. In 1998, Kerr received the prestigious CBE in recognition of her significant contributions to the world of drama. This honor was bestowed upon her in the Queen's New Year Honors list, underlining her lasting impact on British and international cinema. Furthermore, during the filming of Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison, Kerr surprised her co-star Robert Mitchum, who had expected her to be just like the prim characters she often portrayed. In one memorable scene, Kerr's uncharacteristic outburst at director John Huston left Mitchum in fits of laughter, nearly causing him to drown in the water they were shooting in. This unexpected moment of levity forged a lasting friendship between Kerr and Mitchum that endured until Mitchum's passing in 1997. Deborah Kerr's career was marked not only by her versatility as an actress, but also by the memorable collaborations and friendships she formed within the industry. Deborah Kerr, a celebrated actress known for her timeless performances, had her last public appearance in 1994 when she received an honorary Oscar. Despite being nominated six times for the prestigious award throughout her career, she had never won. On this memorable evening, Glenn Close paid tribute to Kerr's remarkable body of work, showcasing clips from her film set to music. Kerr, appearing frail in a blue pastel trouser suit, emerged from behind the screen to a standing ovation from her peers. Known for her shyness, she admitted, I have never been so terrified in my life, but I feel better now because I know that I am among friends. Thank you for giving me a happy life. Another standing ovation followed, marking her farewell to Hollywood. Ironically, Glenn Close, who honored her that night, would later surpass Kerr's record with seven Oscar nominations, further cementing Deborah Kerr's legacy as one of the few actresses to receive six nominations without a win. In addition to her illustrious career, it's worth noting that Deborah Kerr's surname is pronounced as Carr, not Kerr or Kerr. This pronunciation distinction often surprised those who may have assumed otherwise. Deborah Kerr, born on September 30, 1921, had a personal life as well. She married Anthony C. Barclay, a WWII Royal Air Force Squadron leader, and together they had two daughters, Melanie Jane Bartley, born on December 27, 1947, and Francesca Ann Bartley, born on December 18, 1951. In conclusion, Deborah Kerr's remarkable career, her Oscar tribute in 1994, the pronunciation of her surname, and her family life with Anthony C. Bartley all contribute to the rich tapestry of her legacy in the world of entertainment. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the illustrious career of Deborah Kerr, I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic actress. Throughout her cinematic journey, Deborah Kerr touched the hearts of audiences worldwide with her grace, talent, and versatility. Perhaps you were captivated by her stirring performance in An Affair to Remember, where she portrayed the embodiment of elegance and romance. Or maybe it was her powerful portrayal in The King and I, where her character's strength and vulnerability left an indelible mark on your memory. Deborah Kerr's ability to bring depth and authenticity to her roles resonated with many, forging a profound connection between her and her admirers. Whether you're a longtime fan or have recently discovered her timeless performances, your thoughts and memories are a testament to her enduring legacy. In the world of entertainment, Deborah Kerr's contributions were nothing short of remarkable. Her talent illuminated the silver screen and left an indomitable impression on the history of cinema. So, I extend my heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in celebrating the extraordinary career of Deborah Kerr. Now, it's your turn. 
Share your favorite memories, reflections, or thoughts about Deborah Kerr's performances. Let's keep her legacy alive through our collective appreciation for her artistry. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, and may Deborah Kerr's brilliance continue to inspire generations to come.